Hi guys, it's Legion Arrow. Welcome back to my channel and I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so so much for subscribing to the channel. Today I'm going to do a recap video for you guys. I know it's been a while but like I said I'm in one of my previous videos my back has really been bothering me. But I've been going to the chiropractor and it's been helping and I finally feel like I can get a weekend of sewing in. So hopefully today and the rest of the weekend I can get some sewing done. Some garments and some handbags. So before I went on the little hiatus, I sewed Butterick 6388. It's a top. It's like an athleisure um, top. There's a dress also on the pattern. And now that, I'm, now that I've made the top, I also want to make the dress because I think it's really super cute and I can't wait to make it. But... Um, here's a picture of the top and I paired it with a pair of just workout pants because I thought the shirt would be a great workout top. This was a very easy sew. <laughs> I actually made a mistake when I cut out the side piece for it. Um, I cut the wrong part of the pattern so <laughs> I'll pop up the right and wrong how I cut it the first time and then how I cut it the second time the correct way. Um, I cut the bottom half of the piece instead of the top half of the piece. So. Lesson learned, I'll know for next time, but um, other than that little mishap, it was a very easy sew and I do plan on making the dress pretty soon. I made a couple of Erin pouches. I've seen that a lot of people have downloaded the Erin pouch as well as the Angie Clutch. So I made a couple of Erin pouches just so um, people can see the different varieties of fabrics that you can use when you make this pattern. So I've been posting those on my Instagram and Facebook pages. Um, the first one that I made is this gray and white with the stripe pocket. Um, I love that the stripes are going up and down and I wanted the body of the bag to be a solid color and the, the pocket um, to be this stripe color. So, And I used the um, lining fabric for the inside as well. Um, so I really like that. Um, I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone, even though this isn't too much out of my comfort zone. <laughs> it's still a, it's still neutral colors, but um, you know, just doing a different type of front pocket for the Aaron pouch, and I think it's really really cute. It turned out really well. I also made a Spider-Man Aaron pouch. I had a little bit of this fabric left because I made a mini bucket bag for someone and I had just a little bit of this fabric left so I decided that I would make an Erin pouch. This is a great stash buster um, pattern. I have used fat quarters um, in this pattern so if you're looking for a stash buster project the Erin pouch is a great project for you. I'll link the video and the pattern in the description box below. It is a free PDF pattern and there's a step-by-step -step video here on the channel. I also made another Erin pouch. Um, I made that one to sell and my customer wanted navy and cream so I made it with a um, cream pocket and then the navy on the outside and you can't see the fabric on the inside, but it's this flower fabric. Here it is. It's a fat quarter that I got from Walmart, um, blue and white. And I use this for the lining for the pocket as well as the lining on the inside of the pouch. So turned out really well. I'll pop a picture on the screen for you guys to see it. Next up was a failed experiment. <laughs> um, I guess it's okay, um, but... Uh, it, it somewhat turned out like I wanted to, but it somewhat didn't. Um, let me explain. So I have this huge clutch fold over clutch pattern. And it's basically just a large rectangle. It's really big. I, I don't know the measurements off the top of my head, but it's huge. And I made this and I wanted to square off the bottom. And I wanted to do a zipper that hang that would, would hang over, right? Um, that part turned out great um, because I wanted to experiment on doing a zipper that would hang off your bag, right? And I also added a slanted zipper here, right? And I made this out of denim fabric. On the inside, this is some cotton cloth that I got from Walmart, I believe. It's like a blue, either Walmart or Joann's. I can't remember which one, but it's really nice, a nice blue. Um, 
But this is this is a fail because um one I forgot to put the strap on it before I sewed it up. Don't know how I did that. And I mean I, I guess I could have did an outside strap, but I just don't want to. Um, so I may try this again. I may not, but I mean it's okay. Yeah. I guess you didn't use it as a fold over clutch. Yeah, I guess it could be a fold over clutch you could carry, but I don't know. I just didn't like it. <laughs> and last but not least, um, this is not finished. This is a pattern that I've I'm trying to come up with in my head. Um, I think I showed y'all a smaller version of it. I wanted a bigger version, so I did this. Um, and I want it to have sides and a bottom. So I made the pattern again and I made it a little bit bigger. And this is kind of like a slanty um, flap. And the flap has a magnetic snap on it. I need to finish the lining and put the whole purse together and the strap. But um, for some reason, I, I just can't find the motivation to finish it. I don't know why. Um, maybe I will <laughs> sometime this year. But... Right now, I can't find the motivation to finish it. Um, but I do like it. It's really cute. It'll probably be even cuter once I finish it but and make a couple of tweaks to it. But I, for some reason, I just can't bring myself to finish it. <laughs> so I want to do a really quick haul also. I went to Hobby Lobby and I was actually looking for the new Happy Planner stickers. But they didn't have any. So I went over to the sewing section to see... One, if they had any patterns on sale, they didn't. And to also look for a reversible zipper because I want to make a reversible bomber jacket. And I need a reversible zipper. So went over to the sewing section and they had a lot of clearance, um, hardware, and notions. So I grabbed a couple of things. <laughs> Alright, so first thing is this plastic snap tape. It was $1.49. So I grabbed that. It says it's... 36 snaps per yard and is three fourth inches apart. So, and it's two yards of it. I also bought some swivel snap hooks, and these are the large ones. I grabbed these because one, they were only 74 cent, um, and they had a couple of them. They had about four of them in this kind of gold, shiny gold color. Um, they were only 74 cent, and they are the one and a half inch. So, I always use pretty much one inch when I'm making bags and things like that. So, I want to start using the bigger size of these. And I also got the swivel snap hooks in black, same size, um, an inch and a half. And these were 87 cents. So, the black, they are a little bit heavier. Um, so, they were 87 cents. I mean, still less than a dollar. You can't beat it. And I grabbed about four of those. Like, whatever they had, I grabbed it. <laughs> and then lastly, I got these snap hooks. And I thought they were really cute because they have the little flower on the end of them. And they were 74 cents. Right, and I grabbed about three of those. That's all they had on the shelf. So, I grabbed all of that stuff. Um, so, a really great deal. So, if you are near Hobby Lobby, they may have some clearance. Uh, I think all Hobby Lobbies are different, so I guess it just depends on um, where you go and what side of town you're on. But I, I've i looked up a lot going to Hobby Lobby and getting a lot of their clearance hardware for my bags. Now I just need to use the hardware <laughs> because it's still in the bag that I bought it in. So that's my little mini haul. Other than that, I've been just really addicted to the Happy Planner and all of the Happy Planner stickers. I really need to put myself on a Happy Planner fast. Because I have, I think, four planners. Um, I have five. I gave one to one of my friends because I was like, this is just too ridiculous. I don't know why I have these many planners. But um, I did break them down for um, different purposes. One of them is my um, teacher planner. So I write my lessons, lesson plans in it. And it's a little mini planner and it has the vertical lines. It's so cute. All right, so I have my minis here. So let me um, flip to the page so I can show you what it looks like and how I'm going to use it. Um, hopefully you can see that. But I work um, in the mornings and in the afternoons or evenings. 
So I broke it down by using some washi tape. And you can put little stickers up here. You can write up here. And then I have my washi tape here, Plan a Happy Life. And these are my morning classes. And these are my evening classes. So I thought this was really cute. And I actually got a deal on it. I only paid $4.99 at Hobby Lobby for this. It was on clearance. And then this one, I plan on using it as my sewing and social media. Um, so whenever I need to post on social media or anything like that, um, I want to put it in this planner. And you can decorate it however you want to decorate it. I think it's just really cute, all of the things that you can do with this little planner. So I'm glad I found it. My other two planners are over in my desk, so I'm not going to run over and get those. But uh, one of them is a memory keeping planner. Someone gifted that to me. So it's a, a large planner. So that you can do pictures like if you go on vacation and different things like that. So it's kind of like a scrapbook. And then there's sheets and everything that you can fill out talking about your best day, your birthday. So uh, it'll probably get its most use during Dragon Con. So look out for that. I'll show you that when that rolls around. And the classic size planner, that's what um, I guess they call a catch-all planner. That has everything that I do um, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis in that planner. I write it in that planner and then I distribute it amongst the different planners. I know it sounds like a lot. It sounded like a lot when I first heard it. But then <laughs> once I start planning, I kind of get it a little bit. But really, you only need one planner. I, I like these because they're small and you can put them in your purse. But um, this one that I use as my um, teacher and lesson planner, um, this will be with me always. I'll use this. Um, I'll, I'll use this the most. Anywho, <laughs> so that's my spiel. That's everything. Hopefully I can get some tutorials recorded this weekend so I can start to post again next week. Again, I'm going to I have a list of all the tutorials that you all have asked me for. And I do plan on um, doing all of them. Like I said, I'm a one-man show. So I record, I edit, I sew, I do everything myself. So um, just bear with me. <laughs> so if you don't know about it, um, Natural Dane and let me get her name, Myra at One So Sweet on Instagram. I'll link their information and their YouTube channels below. They're doing a Black History Month challenge. So all the information... On the challenge it's on their Instagram pages and also they did videos here on their YouTube channel and they're basically highlighting they want you to sew patterns from um, African-American um, pattern designers but the challenge is open to everyone um, I'm one of the sponsors I am um, giving as a prize the Claire handbag pattern um, you still have a week left I think we have a little over a week left in February this February challenge um, so if you haven't joined the challenge and you want to just head over look at the um, link in the description box below to um, either Natural Dane's channel or One So Sweet Myra's channel um, or both of their channels because they're showing um, different things the same thing and different things on their channels and their Instagrams and they're promoting everything so check them out and also if you want to join the challenge you still have time to join the challenge Alright, so that's it. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next recap.